All right, here we are, guys. Ghostly Blade 7 par, five, par 4 here. So one of the brand new holes for this course that we're going to be setting up for here. And uh, with the head, headwind situation, a little bit more challenging. Um, ideally, you're going to want to get out to the left-hand side there to uh, stay away from the trees. Now, when, I, when we have to go over to this fairway over here, it's going to make the approach that much more challenging. But uh, what you definitely need to avoid here is when you try to get aggressive, um, you, you need to make sure that you don't hit the rough, uh, especially once you put a lot of topspin on. You could potentially, you know, cause the risk of, uh, you know, it hitting the rough and then going in the water. So something that you do have to be a little bit careful of with the, uh, with the headwind case. But here you can see that it threads up through there. Um, I should be able to do relatively similar, but it's going to require, you know, definitely a lot of precision. Uh, to make sure that you, uh, you know, stay out of trouble here. So what I'm going to try to do, ideally, is try to, you know, give it as little power as possible. It's funny because his shot probably was actually better than his perfect ball would have been. So um, pretty, you know, ironic when things like that work out. However, you know, that's sometimes luck of the draw. <laughs> What I'm going to try to do is get a little bit more cautious and stay away from the water. You can see that I almost started to hit that rough there. So you can see that there's not, uh, you know, a lot of landing room there. So you do need to be very, very careful with especially that tee shot in the headwind situation. But ideally, you know, we can get out to the left there and, uh, you know, just try to stay away from the water if at all possible. Uh, that's going to be, you know, a major concern would be, you know, definitely hitting that. So you want to be very cautious uh, when going about doing your adjustment there. So let's take a look here at what we have. Um, this is a very challenging type pitch. Uh, the, the green has a lot of mound and undulation. So you really want to, you know, avoid the, you know, roll up the front of the green approach if at all possible. But, uh, you know, it's going to be very hard to not go that way. So here you can see it just kind of bends around the pin here. A little bit too much backspin um, is not going to make it easy to, uh, you know, get the right amount of rollout. So where I was having, you know, success in Tour 4 was, you know, kind of off this fairway a little bit. So I'm going to try to do something similar here. And you can see the way that it's kind of rolling out. I'm going to try to do it more like here. And you can see how the, the ball guide's kind of offset. It should kind of correct itself after I play this. You can see that I'm very close to max, 1.8 per ring. I probably should have pushed it in there, but I forgot to. Um, should almost be towards five rings here. Very, very close. And you can see with my positioning where I am. There you can see perfect ball. And hopefully with that offset, Side, so I probably missed that landing zone that I was trying to hit. Um, if you watch the video, the first of the video, it's a very nice flat spot. And it looks like it all just kicked straight. So, you know, the, the, the fairway there is very hilly. The green is also very hilly. But you can see with my positioning off the tee there, um, especially... You know, if you're not kind of hugging the right side of the fairway there, you really get towards the long side of the club. So it is going to make that a little bit more challenging for you guys. So good luck with that hole there, guys, and catch you guys on the next one.